So the whole Bill and Ted thing, I want to get right into that. Did you have any oh, idea that that thing was going to take off? It smells like cerebellum, man. Um, <laughs> Bill, uh, Bill and Ted take off. Did you know that that Bill off. and Ted thing was going to take off like um, that? I mean, I remember they held that movie for a while. No one knew it was going to do they that. They did. It was so hot, they just didn't want to release it. Um, there's just certain things in this world. And but at the time, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't the, the motion picture industry sort of think, well, this thing isn't... It, wasn't, you know, it was more complex and boring than that. The studio that made it went under, so it sat on a shelf until someone else came along and... and, and chiseled everybody down and got a good deal on it, and then right. it came out. And by then, I'd kind of forgotten about it. It wasn't like I didn't think it was going to do any business. I really had totally forgotten about it. It was about a year and a half after we made it. So you sort of just noticed one day that you were in a massive hit. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of was like that. I got home and was paging through Variety, and there was like this thing in the middle of Variety with like me and Keanu cutouts of us sitting on a stack of bills, like, <laughs> you know, it said $12 million or something. I said, geez, man. I was waiting for the truck to come up. And, Never showed up. So, so are, you, are you constantly, are you constantly uh, flooded by uh, you know Bill and Ted fans? Is there? Um, well, that guy with the skull juice hangs around my house a lot. But um, uh, yeah, I mean the the weird thing is is how people respond to Bill and Ted and and sort of the reaction that that the country had to it. Um, it was sort of best exemplified by once when Bill, when Ken and I were shooting the second one, we were out in this absolutely deadly suburban sprawl shooting the scene at the Circle K when evil Bill and Ted crushed this kitty in a phone booth. And um, so we're standing there, it's four o'clock in the morning, it's really cold, we're kind of shuffling around, we're like in our coats and stuff, right. and these two guys walk up to us, and they look exactly like us. Um, one of them's got like a, a Megadeth shirt on, and the other one's got like a Slayer shirt on, and he's got yeah. his hat cocked backwards, they're about 17. And uh, they kind of shuffle up to us, they're really cash, and they're like, hey Bill, what's up? We're like kicking at the ground, like kids out in the playground, we're like, I'm like, uh, all right, I'm all right, what's up with you? He's like, not much. Hey Ted, how you doing, man? All right. They call you Bill and they Ted. They called us Bill and Ted. <laughs> next thing he says, next thing he says is true. He says, "So, uh, how's the band, dude? Like, uh, like it's real? <laughs> it, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we just started a band. Is it hard to do that stuff with the band? Is it hard traveling through yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that never came out. That didn't seem to affect. They, they weren't worried about the time. What's Napoleon was like? Freud was irrelevant to that. Right. These guys actually thought the whole thing was a documentary or something. <laughs> so, um, that was, yeah, I kind of was faced with the question, do I stop acting or do I never stop acting at that right. point? I got a lot of patience. So. I, I, I should interview you one day. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just jump in any time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go no, no, I'm no. Sorry. I'm on. It's the skull juice, man. No, I, that's yeah. a very interactive show. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, but uh, you're directing now. You're Maybe, not just... Man. It's good stuff. You're not just uh, you're not just acting anymore. You're directing. You just have you have a movie coming out called um, yeah. Freaked. It's out now. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I co-directed it with my partner Tom Stern. It's out right now. Now, what's Freaked about? Um, Freaked is about a, a uh, an evil brat pack actor who I play who um, sells out as a promoter uh, for this giant multinational corporation. And the first thing they do is send him down to South America to promote a toxic chemical that they sell to the third world. Um, this is actually the same plot as Hannah and her sisters. You're probably on it. Yeah, it's the so far. Um, you're just ripping it off. I just, uh, you know, me and Woody, you know. Um, so uh, anyway, I go down to South America, and while I'm down there with a couple of my buddies, I stop off at a roadside freak show run by a mad scientist named Elijah C. Skuggs, played by Randy Quaid. And it turns out he makes his own freak, so he turns me and all my friends into freaks, and he holds us captive, and we, he puts us into his freak show, and we spend the rest of the movie trying to get out of this freak show. I'm tired of that same old plot. I know, I know. <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy, Steel Magnolias. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, thanks a lot for coming on. I'm sorry we're running out of time here. Uh, we'll be right back Running with Suede.